Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Today's my birthday. I turned 31 years old. I can't believe it. And I wanted to make a video sharing 10, 10 lessons that I've learned over the last 31 years that I truly believe can help you out, help you to become the best version of yourself, help you to succeed in life, and really overall to help you to get what you want. I've made a lot of improvements in my life from you know, being locked up in jail to being a huge pothead, 240 pounds, to be able to start my own business, lose the weight, and really live a life of passion by giving back, helping others. And I really do enjoy my life. So I wanna share with you guys these, uh, these 10 lessons and uh, let's dive right into it. I've got my phone, my little Google Doc ready so I can hit all the points, but let's uh, get through these points and hopefully you could find value in this video. So one of the big lessons that I learned in life is that our friends, our family, and our loved ones, and this is gonna hurt a little bit, don't really care as much as we think when it comes to our success and failure. Ouch, I know that kind of hurts. A lot of us were looking to achieve success in our health, business, finances because we want to improve, or excuse me, we want to impress other people. We want to make our friends, you know, we want to show off to our friends. We want to make our parents proud or, you know, we want to get the car for the girl or whatever. But at the end of the day, I've realized most people don't care as much as you think and they're typically, typically in general still gonna love you just as much, whether you're mediocre or if you're absolutely fantastic. And the point I'm trying to make is, if you wanna succeed, you've gotta find that reason within, that real deep meaning for why you want whatever it is, whether it's the car or the body or the health or the energy or the business or the money. I don't know what that is for you, but look, look within for that reason. Don't think that you're gonna find happiness by making other people happy. It just doesn't work that way. That's one of the biggest lessons. Lesson number two, blaming others and making excuses will never, never get you closer to accomplishing your dreams. Real winners always find a way to succeed. And yet other, on the other side of the coin, losers, they always find reasons and justifications for why they can't have what they truly want. Blaming others, being negative, Making up excuses, getting angry, is never going to get you closer to your dreams. The only true way to get closer to, to the results that you're looking for is by taking aligned action. Doing certain things in a certain sequence which are required to get the result that you want. If you wanna lose the weight, you're gonna to have to put in the work with diet, eating less or eating better foods or eating more whole foods or exercising or hiring a personal trainer. The same goes with the business. So, you know, getting mad and upset isn't gonna do anything. You've gotta take action. Lesson number three, and this has been huge for me over the last year. You know, last year I've lost over 30, 35 pounds. I put on a bunch of muscle, feeling better than I've ever felt in my whole entire life at 31 years old. I can literally say I feel better than I was at 21. It's crazy. Now, I do have some aches and pains, <laughs> but um, I, feel, I feel fantastic. And the lesson is health is always the most important thing. Without it, you really have nothing. Now let me explain. You can have all the money in the world, right? Or you can have the best thriving business in the world, or you can have the, the most amazing boyfriend or girlfriend or wife or husband. But let me ask you a question. When you're sick or you're not feeling well, what's the only thing that you want? It's your health. Nothing goes above health. Even giving and contribution, because if you don't have your health, you can't give, you can't contribute to organizations or donate to different things and causes or your family or your friends or to build your business. Health is the most important thing. And when you're young, you might think that you're gonna have it forever, but I can tell you right now there are consequences to your actions, which we're gonna get into. Lesson number four is nothing beats hard work. You know, we get taught to plan, to strategize, to learn, read, educate, watch YouTube videos. And you know I'm a big advocate of that. And even networking is huge. But at the end of the day, one of the biggest lessons I've learned is you can do all of that. But if you don't work hard and take action, none of that matters. It's a really simple concept right there. Action is the king of anything that you can do, taking massive amounts of action. Now, of course, taking a ton of action and hustling like crazy, but if you're going up the wrong ladder, then yeah. You know, in that case, I guess it wouldn't be true. But for the most part, I found that Many people are planning and strategizing and they're educating themselves. I mean, we live in the world where it's not hard to find the answer. All you gotta do is simply Google it or watch a video. But most people, there's a disconnect between the information 
and getting the result and that disconnect is taking action. So that's one of the biggest lessons that I've learned over the years. Lesson number five, and this is a really, really big one, especially in a society where a lot of us entrepreneurs are watching Grant Cardone and Gary Vaynerchuk. And I love those guys and I believe in about 90% of the stuff they say, but one of the things a lot of them fail to mention is the fact that it's important to slow down. Now you're thinking, why is it important to slow down? I wanna hustle, 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 grind, 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 crush, crush, crush. The reason why it's important to slow down is because you need to be able to think about what you truly want. That could be in your health, in your business, or it could be a sp specific aspect of your business. When you slow down and you take walks and you meditate and you really take the time to think about your values, your wants, and your needs, and your true reason why, it's a magical thing. And, and, and special things start to happen when you slow down, when you really become crystal clear on what you want. Many of us, were just grinding and just hustling and we're just, we're just going, going, going. And we never really take the time to think why we're doing what we're doing and what's the purpose behind it. So I found that slowing down through meditation, even exercise, walking, and even, you know, these YouTube videos are kind of a sense of, uh, it's almost like therapy for me in a sense. Slowing down has been really big for me and I've made some really good decisions over the, the last year or two by being able to slow down and just think about what I truly want. Lesson number six, and I'm going to just read what I wrote here because I think it's really important. Lesson number six is our mind is a garden and we need to be very careful who and what we allow in it. Negative friends, family members, and even books, videos, in movies, etc., can destroy our momentum. I believe success is success in life is all about perception, and there's no true reality of the world we live in. What comes into our mind will come out. Feed your mind garbage, and the results will follow. Align yourself with what you believe in, and don't let anyone convince you otherwise. So I know I mentioned a lot of different points there, but overall, I believe that your mind is a garden, and what comes in is what's going to come out. If you hang out with negative people, if you hang out with people who are poor and complaining and don't have money um, and they're just angry and making excuses, you're going to become that. If you hang out with people who are solution seekers and they're solving problems and they're educating and they're learning and they're taking care of themselves, you're going to become that. It's, it's like you know what Jim Rohn says, you are the average of the five people you hang out with most. That's true, but also your mind is a garden. What you, what you associate yourself with, even videos and movies and just various personalities and characters you, you surround yourself with, you're gonna become that. A lot of us, we're like chameleons, and you know who we're around is what we become, so be very, very careful in terms of what you want and your goals, and the fact that, am I aligned with what exactly it is that I'm trying to achieve? If you wanna become healthy and fit, Sorry, my personal trainer is texting me like crazy right now. Um, shout out to Noah. But if you want to be healthy and fit and you're hanging out with people who are eating junk food and drinking and smoking weed and treating your bodies like crap, you're going to start to take on those behaviors. So be very, very careful. Your mind is a garden. Uh, lesson number six, let's keep moving through. What you eat and drink has a direct correlation to how you feel. Eat more fresh fruits and vegetables and whole foods. So this is something I grew up not being taught. I didn't realize that the foods I put, that I put in my body actually had a difference in terms of my emotions, being connected with mother nature, my energy levels. I know this is crazy and times have been changing over the last four or five years. More and more people are conscious of the foods we eat and the correlation between mental and physical health, diseases, various things like that. But I mean, I grew up my whole life, my first 20 something years of my life, not realizing that what I was putting in my body actually made a difference. I just thought it made me fat. That's all I thought but it's much more than that. I'm not gonna go super deep into it right now, but the foods you put in your body are fuel. Imagine putting, you know, freaking chocolate syrup in your uh, gas tank. What's gonna happen? You're gonna destroy it, you know what I mean? Um, nothing against sugar, although I do find that staying away from sugar helps a lot. But if you put bad oil, or you put bad gasoline that doesn't belong in, you know, it's like putting normal gasoline in a Corvette, you're gonna destroy the thing. Why would you do that? It's gonna affect the performance. The same thing stands true for our bodies. Treat your body well in terms of what you put in it. Number eight is a big one for me, and I've found a lot of value in this over the last couple of years, and I've built some really good friendships with, um, with people and have formed masterminds, and I've even hired a life coach, personal trainer. And one of the lessons is it's important to vent. Find a friend who you can talk to and trust, hear out your problems, issues, challenges, and will give you solid feedback. 
Hire a coach if you can, or a counselor. Talk to a counselor. Keeping everything up in your head and trying to figure everything out on your own is one of the most surefire ways to fall, up, fall off short and uh, just not accomplish your goals. So talk to somebody, find a mastermind, a life coach, a friend, vent, get it out. I've been dealing with some struggles lately and it's helped so much. Find someone you could talk to. Uh, lesson number nine is a pretty simple lesson that I've learned from Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins and it's very simple. If you wanna make more money in your business, in your life, this is the one thing you have to focus on. Find a way to add massive amounts of value. If you're making this much amount of money, your value is probably lined up with this. If you wanna to get to this level in terms of your finances, raise the amount of value that you are giving. At the end of the day, the only reason why you're being compensated and getting paid is because, because of the value that you're bringing to the market. So think about what you do and how you earn income and ask yourself the simple question, how can I add more value? And last but not least, the, the 10th lesson is the easiest way to be happy in life is to make progress, I've found. For me personally, when I am the most happiest and I feel the best about my life, it's when I'm making progress in the areas of my life that are most important. The times I'm unhappy is when I'm doing things for the wrong reasons. Maybe I'm doing something to try to show off or I'm doing something because of the ego. I'm doing something to make someone else proud or someone to try to get love from somebody else. The easiest way to be happy is to do the things that you care about most in your heart, things that really are important to you, to make progress on those things every single day. It's not necessarily a race to success, to make the most money, to build the business the quickest, or to get the fittest the quickest. But at the end of the day, I found I'm happy when I'm just making progress towards my goals and the things that matter most to me. So slow down, take some time to think about what you really want and really absorb these lessons. Hopefully you've been able to find value in my 10 lessons that I've learned over the last 31 years of my life. Appreciate you all. Hopefully you guys have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.